What's up, everybody? It's been a couple weeks since I, we last talked, uh, but I'm back. A little bit different change of pace. Usually I'm outside uh, and out in front of the restaurant. Uh, I like to be on the street with the people, immersed within society, but we're doing a little bit of a special edition of Pi Day Friday this week. We are coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, all the way across the country the city of angels uh, we are at our media hotel and i mean no matter where we go no matter where we're staying what we're doing never a bad time for pizza never a bad time for a pizza review so no matter the place the pizza review lives on this time around we got brazos pizza um, it says the address is 100 and a half west 7th street here in los angeles um, Razo's Pizza. Um, I'm not really familiar with the pizza scene here out in LA, but I just looked on the Slice app and this was one of the first ones that came up. Had a pretty good review. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, so I'll give you a quick look at the pizza here. Uh, it was a little bit of a wait, not gonna lie. Um, what I've learned quickly in LA is that patience is a virtue. Um, you have to be really patient and take your time. I learned that waiting for my lift rides and waiting for this. Um, and don't come at me. I tried to keep the integrity of the pizza reviews the same. Uh, I wanted to get a pepperoni. Um, maybe they switched the boxes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we have a pepperoni, a sausage, and barbecue chicken. Um, so, I mean, my criteria for critiques are going to be the same. Uh, no matter what toppings are on the pizza, uh, I, I tried to keep it as similar. I'll try and, I guess, pick one without sausage or uh, barbecue chicken or the least amount. Um, just to kind of keep it similar to past reviews. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. Having a little bit of trouble with that pie there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it wasn't really cut too well. Um, it's got a lot of flop to it. Um, first impression is that the crust is very thin. It's almost like, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's almost like tis the season. Uh, it's almost like they took like wrapping paper and they wrapped the toppings on top of the crust. It looks kind of like there's a little bit of a gap there. Um, a little odd, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. I don't know. It's it's really tough to give like a consistent rating because as I'm chewing this, I'm getting the barbecue chicken, like I'm getting that flavor in there, as opposed to just the pepperoni and cheese that I've been used to. So I mean, it's a little bit tough to give a rating. It's a pretty standard pizza, like. Just if you're getting down to the nitty gritty, like the basics with the pepperoni, the cheese, the sauce, whatever. Um, the crust was a little bit, I don't know, I don't know how else to describe it, just soft. Uh, yeah, it didn't have the same crunch that I really wanted, you know. Um, it would have been nice to have a little bit more like consistency and texture with that. Um, Pretty standard flavor in the pepperoni, you know. Uh, not anything too crazy, not anything pretty just bland, I guess. Um, yeah, nothing really jumped out to me with this slice, I guess. The uh, East Coast supremacy with New York pizza is still intact. Um, Chicago style, if that's your thing. Um, I know the man behind the camera right now loves him some Chicago style. Uh, if that's your thing, that's in the central time zone. 
I guess they gotta leave the pizza over there. I was not really impressed with this Los Angeles Brazos pizza. Um, so as for a score out of 10, I'll say it's about, man, I hate to do this to LA because I really like your city, but I'm gonna go 5-3 on this pizza. It was nothing, nothing really jumped out to me about this pizza. It was very bland, very average. Um, so yeah, 5-3, that's a review. Um, LA, love the city, can't say anything better about LA. There's a lot to do, we're downtown. But uh, yeah, they gotta step up their pizza game. Maybe they gotta import it from New York, who knows. But yeah, that's a review. Um, until we get back on campus, uh, keep sending your recommendations for Columbus-based pizza. Uh, for another episode of Pie Day Friday, I'm Casey Smith. We'll see you next time and take care.